So today we're going to do a bit of mining. Okay, so actually it's very hard to see. If we get my torch out. Can I see here? Behind me, I'm over this side. You know, there's a little area we could just drop dirt down the shaft. But yeah, if the trace down there goes wrong, then we'll, uh, we'll think about digging up here and just dropping down. Oh, the generator just turned off. Oh, gotta go back up. Drop some stuff down and then we'll uh, go back up. Fix the generator. Don't know why it's turning off. Okay. Head back up and uh, fix the generator, damn it. So I'm back up the top. Um, it's not fun climbing up and down that ladder, so I hope uh, this time I can turn it on and it doesn't turn back off. Okay, well, a bit of tragedy has struck. I was um, pulling the rip cord to turn the generator back on and... Uh, <sighs> that's come off. I can maybe tie it back on um, and take this thing off, but I mean, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I've... Um, put the rip cord back on. This rope here is so old it, it, it there's no delicacy to the knots. It's just <laughs> had to just kind of do it. I'm not sure it's gonna be long enough to actually start it. Even if I do fix this, there might be another issue with the generator anyway as to the reason it was turning off. So hopefully it just turns on and we head down to mine and we get digging and we find opal. Um, but unfortunately this job is often not that easy. So let's see what happens. Okay, so the generator is actually on. I'm gonna stay up here for a second. I'm gonna see if it turns back off because I don't wanna be halfway down a ladder again when it does. So hopefully um, it stays on for a little bit longer and head down and uh, dig out that trace and hopefully it turns into some good opal. And there you go. Uh, so I think I may have uh, fixed the generator. Um, I did a couple of things. I did it off camera because it's not so exciting. Basically what I did was I just replaced uh, this fuel line right here um, and the one underneath it. I cleaned out the fuel tank and I fixed up this little pipe going back into the engine from the air filter here. Um, I think it just wasn't getting enough of something, um, whether that be fuel or the air. So kind of replaced all that. I ran it for a while and it didn't turn back off. So I think we're good to go, finally. Okay, so the generator's on. Um, it's sounding pretty good. I'm so glad it's on and working. Time to get down to the mine and actually get digging. So this is the area we're gonna dig in here. Small little drive, it's where we were digging last time. So the biggest problem we got in this mine, obviously, is that it is all backfilled as anything, and there is currently no way to get the dirt out. So I'm gonna have to be shoveling backwards. It's gonna be some hard work, but hey. That's good fun. <laughs> I'll just show you the trace in the wall real quick with the black light so you can see it clearly and uh, yeah, then we'll start trying to dig it out. So you can see the trace right there running up. Um, it's not too much, but hopefully it turns into something. Oh. I think the generator's just gone off again. Oh. Well, so I'm pretty sure I just heard the generator go back out. I still don't know what's wrong with it. Um, it is very frustrating that it's gone back out. I might just go see what James is doing. Woohoo. Hopefully he has a working generator. Okay, so we're coming down in the mine now. So James should be down here somewhere jackhammering. Not exactly sure where, but I'm sure it will hear it. Wow. Have a look up there. Big rooms in here. And there's a bit of opal right in the wall here. Have a look at that. It's not great opal, but hey, there's opal down here.
What's going on guys? So yeah, right now I'm just down in uh, the family open wine and we're just looking for some pineapples. I found one already today. It wasn't so good. It kind of crumbled into pieces as I like got it out of the ground, but it's some of the best color I've seen in ages. It's kind of like really, really nice crystal green. So I mean, it's good for the opal content. Maybe we can cut some stuff out of it. Um, but as far as a specimen goes, it's not really the best specimen as it did just crumble. You can see here there's a bit of an old shaft full of a bunch of old dirt. I reckon if we give it a bit, it might uh, kind of trickle down. Let me pass me a hammer. I'll give it a bit of a smack. Hopefully you don't get kneecapped. So maybe we should shine the uh, black light up there and just see if there's any opal. Sometimes these old shafts, you can have old opal in them. It's already might be able to see bits of that. Oh, that's not opal, it's just a weird looking rock. There's a bit of opal deep there. In there. Yeah. It's a bit of opal. Not a big bit. Not a massive bit. See right there. So I kind of want to try and grab it, but I'm too, I'm too far up. Yeah, so you can see like in these older sections of the mine where they've uh, filled in old shafts and that sort of thing, there's usually a lot of opal mixed in with the dirt. Well, what the? Oh. A bit of wood. Oh, look at that. You see the color in that? So it's just a bit of a uh, petrified wood. Sometimes they don't have opal in them, but this one certainly does. Okay, just let me get up there with the black light. Have a look to see if there's any more. There's a bit of opal there. Actually, there's some more opal in there. Don't miss it. Yeah, see right there? The torch's not. Okay, so I can see little specks in here, but um, they're a bit too far away to get to now, so might just kind of go through what we already got. Okay. Okay, it's already a little bit. Nothing crazy. A little bit here. There's definitely opal in this shaft. Means hopefully there's some opal in this area. That uh, looks pretty chunky, doesn't it? Don't know if we have any color in it, but pocket it. There was a bit of wood here in this, uh, well, whatever that little mine was before, probably a long time ago. I mean, you can see just how much the wood fluoresces. It fluoresces like crazy. You can see all the, everything just running through it. It's crazy. These black lights make it really cool and easy to find the opal, um, especially when you're just fosking above ground. Um, they work in here and Cooper Pedy, but we have them on our website if anyone's interested. But if you're going to Cooper Pedy or coming here, be sure to get one. Oh look, there's a bit of colour in that as well. Not as thick as the other bit, but oh look, all the way up there. Maybe we shouldn't be sitting under a shaft. <laughs> um, we'll just quickly have a look at this other one. Yeah, there's a bit of blue and green running through here. But here, I still think the first one we found is the best one. Let's get these bits of wood to a safe place. And a black light. And we'll keep digging. Ah, oh, well, make it a bit of a mess. Oh, 
So guys, what I'm doing is I'm using the pick and just chewing out the opal level. So where the pineapples are gonna be. Uh, obviously Noah's over there on the jackhammer and uh, he's clearing off all the top level of dirt and then exposing the opal level and I'm going through that with the pick. Obviously it's a little less destructive and a bit more control than the jackhammer. And uh, yeah, hopefully if we hit one with this, it'll stay in one piece and won't be sort of blown to smithereens if we hit it with the jackhammer. But anyway, I'll keep picking away here and hopefully we'll find something. Yeah, so Jamie's doing a bit of picking over there and I'm kind of just exposing this level, you can kind of see. Um, I really hope I don't go through a pineapple. I'm hoping he's the one that finds it and not me um, because obviously a jackhammer wouldn't be too good for the pineapple. Oh! What the hell? We got one! <laughs> so that no joke, it literally just rolled out of that section there. I hit, I hit it a little bit. I mean, it's not a very good one, but nice color. Nice color. It's, it's got always a, chance. a good day to find a pineapple. Not bad at all. So usually it takes a lot of finesse to actually get these out of the ground. We take our time using screwdrivers and stabbing tools to sort of just carefully excavate it. But until you find the first one, you don't know where to slow down and take it really slow because you could dig for miles and um, underground that's a long way with a screwdriver. So you've got to find the patch and then you can take your time. easy to shift this dirt I mean that took all of about five minutes or not even five minutes and he's gotten completely clear the corridor here so it was worth getting a loader looking good we've now got that face to work we've still got some of those fumes in the air so we got to leave our mask on for another couple of minutes just while the extraction fans you know suck everything out and get it clean but I'm getting stuck straight back in. There's got to be something else. I think I got behind it, leaving it, and I just shot out of the walls. So there's bloody something in there. Sometimes you find them maybe inches apart, sometimes meters. So, yeah, I was hoping there'd be one sitting right behind it. Cause I've seen that so many times. All right, might have to get on the jackhammer for a minute. See what we can do. Bloody more gypsum. See little sparkles? Gypsum. Everybody, you can see it. Look at that. No good to us. No bloody good. Uh, I'll keep, keep taking off more of this, otherwise, we'll go clean that other stuff up.
seen all that coloration all that coloration we like to see is just sort of gone there's no f yeah it's turned absolute crap i think i think that's it noz i think whatever was here was in this spot here that's already been dug out um there's that one little corner there that still looks like it has a bit of promise we're gonna run out of space to shift the dirt, so I don't know, what do you wanna do? Well, I reckon we probably just head back, um, clean up the other ones, see what we got. You know, these pineapples aren't gonna go anywhere, so if there is more stuff, we'll come back down and dig them. But yeah, I reckon we just go back, see what we got now, and uh, maybe get some food. So it's been a pretty good day. Found some color, Noz. You! We're just gonna get back up, put it on the tumbler, and we'll show you guys the result. Tomorrow, hopefully it's not too bad. Well, looks like we got some weather. Rolling in, it's turned to gray skies. Yeah, it was a bit, you know, it was a bit dark before. Raining now. All right, let's lock this up. We definitely got some water pretty quick. That's crazy. Um, while I've got you guys here, I'll actually just show you like, this is the parents dug out. It's towards the end of the season. Things are getting a bit hot, so we're not actually staying out here at a camp, I mean. Um, but we're staying at the parents dug out and this is uh, the underground house. So down here, you can see like this is the lounge room. All of this would have been a mine at one part, you know, and at one point in time, maybe a hundred years ago. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go clean up those pieces of pineapple and I'll show you guys the end result. Well guys, we've made it to the beach after a 14 hour drive. Time for a traveler and a bit of a holiday, I reckon. I'm going for a swim! Bloody hell. I'll meet you in there! Woo!